Greetings and congratulations to all of my butterflies and legends in the journey process. Right now we're celebrating on this evening the graduation of the highest of high in terms of these processes known as the 40 days with Dr. Joe. We all start off in the 40 day turn up. There are invites given to the journey. And now when you graduate from the journey process, you become a butterfly and a legend. And in just a few moments, I'll be certain to virtually pin each of you before we present each of you in terms of your names to welcome you into this fold. What you've done is something that you should be proud of. It's something most people can't do. Not only have you been able to be successful in these 40 days, but you've been successful in the 40 day turn up. You kept the weight off. You did what you had to do to implement structure, discipline, and consistency in your life. And you've been able to do an inward search to find things about yourself that perhaps you didn't know, to remove obstacles, to address strongholds, and now you're better for it. And not only are you better for it, but it'll be out of this crop that my next generals and leaders will come from. We'll stand shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm, in order that we may be a blessing to our own community, to our own people, to our own countrymen and women. Congratulations. I know that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the amazing leadership that we have. I've got an amazing crop of uh, core members who've been with me since day one. Steph, Lisa, Dee Dee, to my wife Lynette, Fred Walker. I want to especially thank, because we have so many different individuals who are doing such amazing things. Our ambassadors, Dee Vandenberg, Deborah Washington, who've been great jewels to this process. We love you guys, and thank you for all that you've done. I want to give a shout out to each of my leaders, my leaders who have kept your group intact. You've gone through the ups and downs together, successes and failures with them. Without you guys, this process would be absolutely nothing. Thank you to all of our leaders. Thank you to all of my ambassadors, our governors, and my core team for making this day possible. Now it's back to you, our graduates, because at this time, I want to take some time to officially make you butterflies and legends. I want you to, wherever you are, just listen to me. and I'm going to lead you through something that every butterfly has said since the inception of this process, something that every legend has said since the inception of this process. Being a butterfly is a sacred accomplishment in this process. It means you have been with me for at least six months. And it means that you've successfully completed all tasks and assignments. You've worked on yourselves and each of you are in a better place because of your personal sacrifices. Why a butterfly, you ask? A butterfly is special because it does not start off a butterfly. It starts a caterpillar. It starts something that's not too attractive. It's not too pretty. It enters the world as something that isn't very appealing. But in time and after it goes through a cocoon, a transformation, it becomes colorful. It becomes reborn into something that is ornate and beautiful. Being a butterfly means that you must earn the title and live the life of a butterfly. It means that your beauty will be presented in how you love yourself, how you care for yourself, how you interact with food, how you reestablish your relationship with food, how you take the time to keep yourself first in terms of being a priority. How can you be of value to others if you don't first value yourself? So by the powers invested in me, and at this time to all of my Future butterflies, put your hand over your heart. As the author and founder of the 40 Day Turn Up and the Journey Process, I now officially virtually pin you, Butterfly. With this title, it's my hope that you will lead others as you have been led. All by my side, 
as we do our best to change our world and our community one person at a time. Congratulations, butterflies. It's now official. Let's give them a hand clap wherever you are. That's amazing. I'm so proud of each of you. Now to our legends, who are all of our men, our brothers. Legends are the rarest of any group. Why? Because our male population is greatly outnumbered by our females. This makes you men not only a rare group, but a special one. Men in positions of leadership is a special occurrence in any community. Each of you have shown your ability to lead yourself, which means you will be great leaders of others. Why legend? Because legends always leave legacies. Their lives go on to impact others after they are no longer present. With your newfound experience, you will go on to not only impact yourself, but others as well. All my future legends, put your hand over your heart. By the powers invested in me as the author and the founder of the 40 day turn up in the journey process, I now officially virtually pin you legend. With this title, it's my hope that you will lead others as you've been led. All by my side, as we do our best to change our world and our community, one person at a time. Congratulations, legends. It's now official. So now that we've officially pinned our butterflies and legends, let's take some time and look at all of their names as it scrolls on the screen. When you see your name, uh, celebrate because you deserve to celebrate. You've worked hard for this. Once again, congratulations. And we look forward to celebrating you in the presentation of all of our journey graduates for all of our butterflies and legends. Congratulations.
Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations, Butterflies and Legends. It is official. Now, at this moment and in this time, as you guys know, we're big on science and mathematics and statistics. You know, men lie, women lie, but the numbers do not lie. I want you to take some time to look at the amazing accomplishments in the statistical presentation that this Journey 3.0 group, that this group of butterflies and legends have been able to accomplish. Let's take a look at this. Wow, you know, it seems that every time we move forward, every time we have another session, we're getting better and better in this. We're becoming even more efficient at helping people to change their lives one person at a time, and you guys are living witnesses of that. And I know that all of the change that you butterflies and legends have gotten, that you're going to be a great contributor to the change of someone else. So once again, congratulations. We want to take some time and present all of our biggest losers. And remember, here at the 40-Day Turnup and the Journey 3.0 process, our biggest losers are determined not by how much weight or pounds that were lost, but the percentage of weight that was lost as it relates to the starting weight and the ending weight and what percentage that was. And the person who loses the highest percentage is the person who's deemed as the biggest loser. That way it doesn't give a person who's larger any advantages and it doesn't give advantages to men over women being that the average weight of a man is normally more than a woman. So let's take some time to congratulate all of our biggest losers. Wow, look at all of those biggest losers. Is that not amazing? Congratulations, guys. Congratulations for being the biggest losers. Listen, if there's ever a time I would want to be a loser, it would be in losing weight and making 
uh, and being on the road to becoming my best possible self. So congratulations for that. At this time, we're going to present our MVP, our most turned participant. This particular uh, award is a one person out of the entire group. It is the epitome. It is the person who represents what we want to represent here in our village. It is the person that if we had another hundred, two, three, four, five hundred people like this, we could really turn this world upside down. So let us see who our MVP is right now. Congratulations to all of our winners, to our MVP, to our biggest losers, and to each of our new butterflies and legends. You guys should be ecstatic. This should feel like college. This should feel like your sorority, your fraternity, because nothing is ever valuable unless you work hard to get it. Congratulations, gang. I'm so proud of each of you. Now that we've come to the end of the session, you're going to hear more information about how to be in leadership. We're going to have information that will be sent to you, and you'll get and receive that very, very soon. I want you guys to stay connected in all of our groups, on Facebook, on Instagram. We're going to have a lot more content to keep us connected. There's going to be some amazing things that are in the works very, very soon. Well, gang, here we are to the end. It's bittersweet. Sweet because you have been able to reach this great accomplishment in your life. You've been able to address some strongholds, break some chains, and remove burdens that have been over and throughout your life. You're feeling better about yourself. You've regained health and wellness. You've laid a beautiful foundation upon which you will continue to build upon. But it's bitter because our paths, in a way, will be separated. We won't be together as we once were, but it's like that sometimes. You're prepared to be successful. You're pre prepared to progress and to move forward and to do and be able to accomplish things beyond your wildest dream and your biggest imagination. And we're going to celebrate you and together because of that. You know, I want to tell you this uh, one story kind of a testimony before we depart. When I first started this process in 2011, God told me then that it's not my task to charge people for this, that this should be a ministerial outreach, something that is given to the people. And in having conversations with God, I didn't understand how we were going to be able to sustain ourselves in doing that. There have been several people to come in and out of my life, marketers, different professional companies who have shown numbers and said, hey, you can earn this. You can make this. This is what you can generate if you charge. If you do this, you're getting better results than other people who are professional companies in this industry. Yet you're not charging. It's crazy. They thought something was wrong with me. But once again, the word of the Lord says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and these things shall be added unto thee. Ever since the inception of the process, it's people who've sown into it, who believed in it, who took their hard earned money and planted seeds because they knew what it meant to them and how they desired those positive manifestations in the lives of others. Despite what you see on the news about the evil that's in the world, the mischievous that's in the world, the level of disrespect that human beings seemingly have for one another, there's much good on this planet because at the end of the day, all of us are God's children. Because of people just like you who've sown into this process, who've given their hard-earned money because they believed in this, we've sustained ourselves for more than a decade. 
And I believe that it's people in the future, the people who are on their way, who are coming to this process, who need help, who need healing, are going to be the same ones who perpetuate this cycle that allows us to sustain ourselves for as long as God sees fit. So at this time, I want to thank each of you who sold into this process, who paid it forward, because without you and without your belief within this process, we couldn't be where we are today. And because of what you've done, there are thousands of people who are on their way to the next class, who will be individuals who will receive a blessing because of the seed that you've sown. Now, because of that, I want you to know God is going to see your heart and God is going to honor you. And from the depths of my heart and soul and on behalf of me, my team, all of my leaders, our amazing village, we want to thank each of you for the seeds that you've sown. So at this time, I want to show you all of the individuals who sowed their seeds no matter how big or small, as well as after you see the first group of individuals, I want to give a special thanks also to our star donors who gave $250 or more. Although every single dollar and cent is important, we would be remiss if we didn't take the time to thank those of you who went above and beyond to give what you did to become what we're calling star donors. So to all of our givers, to all of those of you who sowed your seeds, we thank you. We appreciate you. And just know we're going to take those seeds, plant it back in fertile soil, and be certain that it helps the lives of many people from all over the city, the state, the country, and the world. Be blessed. And here they are.